I had a couple thoughts the other day that I thought I'd run by you, and it has to do with Moses. And the question is, why did Moses uh, not think he would be able to lead the Hebrew or the Israelite people out of Egypt? Well, remember, he had murdered somebody, and some folks knew about it. It was as if he lived in the White House. He was part of kind of like the royal entourage family, part of it. And yet he knew that some people knew he had murdered somebody. So he had to take off. Just imagine how fearful that would be. And he spent 40 years living far away. He lived with uh, a man, married his daughter, was really a shepherd out in the wilderness for 40 years. So when God appears to him and communicates with him, says, you're going to deliver my people, he's like, I don't know. He had no idea that he was prepared for what God wanted to do. And another thing is that he didn't realize that it's actually all upon God. The things that God wants to do through our lives are things that he wants to do. So that we have to cooperate, we do work, but it's him who actually accomplishes it through us. So first of all, he didn't know he was prepared. Secondly, he didn't really understand that it was upon God, not him. And lastly, he actually didn't know God very well from my perspective. When God revealed himself to Moses, remember, he wouldn't look. He was afraid to look at God, and that could be partially about the holiness of God, but it also can be about shame. What it does express is a distance from God. Later on, we find out that Moses is so close that God talks to him face to face. Why do I bring this up? I bring it up because possibly these things relate to you too. First of all, did you know that you're prepared in ways that you don't yet understand to do the things God wants to do through you? And the way you're going to learn about it is one, to reflect over it, pay attention, and watch what God's doing around your life. It often relates to what he's been preparing you to do. And as you step into those new things, recognize it's upon God, not you. He's the one who's going to do it. You may need some coaching. You may need some support. You may need some encouragement from others. You may need some training, but it's not on your shoulders. It's on God. And lastly, you will get to know God a lot better as you are walking in alignment with him and serving according to the purposes he has for you. So my encouragement is you're probably prepared for things you don't even know yet. Secondly, it's on his shoulders, not yours. Learn to rely on him. And thirdly, recognize you will get to know him much more and much better as you start to do the things he has for you to do. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.